bike number 100, roll off, bike number 13, bike number 5, Steve DeLalo, and bike number 560, Andy Leisner. Here we go, about ready to go. The engagement gear sign is up, they're revving their engines, and away we go. Rudolph gets a great start from the outside, and he's going to lead this pack definitely into turn number one. Your 600 modified production champion this year in the AWRA, already uh, starting off where he's left off all year long. The rest of the pack behind him. Rudolph leading the pack around to roll. Lot of riders going way wide around turn number two. They're taking definitely a very high line through turn number two as they go out of turn number two. One rider went from seventh spot all the way up to fourth in one fell swoop. A great job, but Rudolph sitting pretty out there in front. leading a uh, very uh, competitive group running for second spot here. we got a great race running for second as Roloff starting to stretch it out now. Remember, he picks up $150 every time he wins on a Kawasaki. Leisner running in second spot. 229 running in third spot. That is Chuck Weichoff doing a great job. And in fourth spot, 374 running in uh, fourth spot, Ron Sharp. Right now, your fourth place runner, Ron Sharp, uh, is currently running second now for those Rookie of the Year honors, and we're going to keep our eye on him. going down the back straightaway, and look at this, Weichoff and, uh, and Sharp. Leisner and Weichoff, I should say, running in second spot, back and forth they go. In fact, now they're starting to separate themselves a little bit, but already bike number 13, where he's been all year long, or a roll off, coming down to uh, complete another lap out in front. Remember, he's going after that uh, overall title as well, and he's gonna, probably going to clinch that up with this race right here. As he goes by the start-finish line already, a quarter of a straightaway ahead of Andy Leisner. Then comes Chuck Weichoff, then comes Ron Sharp, then comes 308, and that is David Neal. And after David Neal comes bike number... 390, and that is Terry De Los Santos on the Kawasaki. He's doing an excellent job hanging up there in the top 10. And behind De Los Santos, bike number 782. We see no on Scott Johnson, Michael Holler working his way through the pack, but Scott Johnson, one of the heavy favorites in this one, must have got a terrible start. He's not even up in the top eight, but I'm sure he's starting to knife his way through the field here. We see, so far we've got him bounced down there ninth and tenth position. We'll pick him up this next time around. Bike number 283 coming in off the racetrack. And down the back straight away they go, and Roloff just, just as well is content to let Weichoff, Sharp, and... Uh, and Leisner battle it out for second place as uh, Roloff goes out of turn number nine and is now opening up about a five to six second lead over the rest of the field. San Diego rider coming by in fine style. Second spot looks like Andy Leisner now. Who is that? Yeah, Andy Leisner starting to open it up. 
Weishaupt now going to have some problems with Ron Sharp here. Ron Sharp closing in on this battle for third. 308 coming by. That was David Neal. And right behind David Neal, here comes Scott Johnson. Johnson now up there into sixth and seventh position. up next to the fence, and he must have just rolled that thing off for about a half a mile and then laid it over. Okay, roll off over the crest of the hill and down the back straightaway. Then comes Leisner, who's second place position now, being threatened a little bit by uh, Wychoff and Sharp. Then look at this now, Scott Johnson now is going to start making a play for fifth position over... Uh, David Neal. That's why we've got David Neal in, uh, in fifth spot, and we've got uh, Scott Johnson in sixth, but I think that's going to change very, very shortly. The rider that went way off over there in turn number five. in turn number five, oh, it was bike number 285 on the Suzuki, Randy Walker, who ended up way up there against the fence. Meister comes by in uh, second spot, halfway. Whitechop in third. Ron Sharp in fourth, and look at this. Scott Johnson now in fifth position over David Neal. Here comes Bruce Anderson in seventh spot and an eighth spot bike number 390. And that is Terry De Los Santos, who uh, started off pretty good up there in sixth position, now finds himself up in ninth. The race story right now is with Scott Johnson, who uh, was out of the top ten now, and he's finding himself knifing as if Scott Johnson, bike number 100, can now uh, work his way up into fourth. Formula One, can we have Formula One up to the pre-grid, please? Let's have all the Formula One riders up to the pre-grid, please. Formula One riders to the pre-grid. James of the gas pumps, please. Tom Sarah needs gas. Okay, Scott Johnson making his way up through the field. Originally born in Chicago, Illinois. Cycle, Cal Guard, and Team Spud. And Scott Johnson, a warehouse manager, he is yours now. And uh, the 35-year-old man starting to work his way all the way up into fifth spot and trying to close in on Ron Sharp for fourth. Okay, on our charts, we've lost Ron Sharp. Olaf coming by the start-finish line. We want to check that. Uh, Ron Sharp's still out there, so. But look at the lead, Earl Rolas got. He goes into turn number one, and your other riders are just now coming down the front straightaway. Andy Leisner opening it up a bit in second position. Wychoff still holding on to a very slim third position now, and Scott Johnson, who's in fourth, going to try and make a play for third here. He outbreaks. Wychoff in going into turn number one, and coming out of turn number one now, Johnson ready to pick off another rider and go into third. This is an incredible run Johnson's been putting on here. After a terrible start, he was out of the top 10 through half the race, and now he's just been picking them off one at a time. And Johnson now starting to come up with the cream of the crop here as he starts working his way toward the top of the uh, in fourth position, right behind Wychoff as they go up the hill. 229 and 100 coming up to you. Ever so uh, cleverly getting closer and closer. And then they go up on some lap traffic as they go down the back straightaway. Let's see if Scott Johnson, who's our birthday boy today, he was born 35 years ago today, going into turn number eight and nine. Let's see if he can get around. Going after Wychoff for third spot as uh, Earl Roloff gets the right flag. One more lap to go. Andy Leiser should come down and get second spot. Look at this battle for third. Here they come. 
It's Whitechoff and Johnson, and Johnson now takes over third position. Whitechoff, regulated to fourth. And it looks like that's just about where it's going to stand. Johnson did a good job of uh, working his way up through the pack the whole race, and he's finally going to end up in third. I want to mention once again that uh, it is his birthday today, Scott Johnson, so we uh, want to wish him a happy birthday. He turned 35 years old today as he heads around turn number two. Boy, Whitechoff's not letting him go, though. He's coming right back on him. And he's not pulling away. We're going to have to stick with this because uh, Johnson, even though he got around uh, Whitechoff, or I should say, yeah, that's Whitechoff, he's not uh, letting him go. second spot very early is going to take uh, second. Roloff gets the checker. Andy Leisner is going to get uh, second spot coming by here, bike number 560, as he eases off. And here's the battle for third between Johnson and Wychoff. And it's no doubt about it, Johnson pulls out and picks third spot. Wychoff gets fourth. And relegated back to fifth, bike number 374, Ron Sharp. Formula One riders up to the pre-grid. Fighters, thank you, Ann. Terry.